Hey guys, it's Twist Disaster here on Time No See. Um, like I said, I want to do more of these talking, you know, videos, and I meant it. So, right now, currently, what you're going to be watching is a. I've actually had this picture in this file done for a while because two reasons. One, I want to do this video, but it's been so hot lately, and I got sick, so I really haven't had time to record any new footage. So you're getting some backup footage that I've had. So there's that. Also, forewarning: at one point in the video. Um, there's this, like, there's random cuts where I'm watching YouTube really fast. I could not edit those out, no matter how hard I tried. I, I tried everything, and it, it, they could not get out for some weird reason. I don't know why, so I'm sorry if that bothers you. But, honestly, the art is just kind of going to be a back piece to what I'm talking to. So, this is going to be more of a talking video than, um, like, actually about the art. Because I said I want to do more of these, and so... All right, let's get let's get started before I, I die, and I hope my fan doesn't bother you because, like I said, it's it's hot and I'm dying. So, this is going to be why I dropped out of my junior college. Yeah. First of all, I want to make a couple things clear before you know I get into this video. I'm going to be talking about one specific JC where I live. Two, I will be using a fake name for the JC. And three, I do not support dropping out for no reason and yeah because I do feel like education is important if you want an education if you feel you need an education but you don't want it you're not gonna get an education so that's that's a whole other video for another time but that has nothing to do with art and this actually does have to do with art with why I dropped out so that's why I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about so first of all I'm gonna talk about the type of school my my the junior college I went to was I'm going to call it Lacey okay and I know it's a it's a it's a name but to people who know the college I'm talking about, you're, you're going to get why I picked the name Lacey. So, going to Lacey was not... First of all, I didn't think about going to college because when I was in high school, I was dumb. And I put myself in a hole and I was just so focused on graduating that college was an afterthought. I didn't know what I wanted to do. So, um, the thing is though, and this goes into it, going to Lacey is really, really fucking hard. Um, by that, I mean it's really easy to get in, really hard to get a date, really hard to get classes, and if, if you have a job, unless you're working for the school or your job has a really lenient uh, schedule, you're not going to get out of that junior college in two years like you're supposed to at all because of how the school's functioned and how the school works because the school is dumb. Um, by that, I mean the school is so over-impacted, it's so, they don't, it's so over-impacted, it has really stupid rules, and again, I've only been to one JC, but I've, I've talked to friends who went to, you know, normal colleges and other junior colleges, and they did not have to deal with half the shit that everyone else I know about who, who went to Lacey slash still goes to Lacey has to deal with. So, um, it's just a normal junior college. It's actually a, like, finger quote, prestigious junior college, but, eh. I don't know. I don't know why it's that pres prestigious when, you know, uh, it, literally that's like, a, it's a well-known thing. Like my teachers in high school even talked about how you should not go to this college because you're going to be in this college for like 11 years. If you don't like, you know, if you make sure that you do not work, like if you, if the only, my, I have a friend who got out in a reasonable amount of time, but she did that because she, she did summer classes and normal classes and did not have a job. So she was able to have a very, very flexible schedule. So that's just, there's that. I'm not saying you can't have a job and do school. People do all the time. But at this school, they make it pretty much impossible. Um, so when I was going to Lacey, when I first started, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Originally, I was thinking about being an elementary school teacher because when I first got out of high school, my friend got me a teacher's aid job as a kindergarten teacher's aid, and I really liked it, and it made me really happy. And at the time, I didn't think I could make my art a career. You know, later, no, no, that's that's not true. But during when I went to Lacey, I was one of those kids who I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And to start off, my, my first big red flag with the school was um, the class I got in first was, I forget what it was called, but to, to sum it up in simple terms, it was pretty much a how to get a job class. Like it talked about how to make a good resume and all this, bloody, bloody, blah. And it was supposed to be a fast track class. For people who don't know what fast track is, it's like half the time. But you go to class for like six to eight hours, two times a week, but you get done in like half the time of a normal semester. So no big deal. I was also taking a psychology class at the time. And when I was taking the how to get a job class, I this um, I did everything right. This was my first time, you know, going to college and everything. I got all my books and everything. But there was this one book 
that I waited to get because the student store, which we you know we bought the books from, didn't have it. And it was one of those little brown, like it was a, like a, it was a little shitty book that is full of worksheets, and you pull the worksheets out of the out of the book. I waited to get it because I had seen people and I, my friends had given me advice of, oh, with these kind of books, you know, go to the library and just pay to print out pages from the book because it's better than spending it. The book would have been $80. And at the time, I wasn't really making much money at all. I was like making very little money at my job. So I didn't really, I couldn't really afford an $80 book that I was only going to use once. And it was a rip apart book, so you couldn't even resell it. So I did that. I did the work and I turned it in and the te my professor refused to take it because it wasn't on the brown pullout paper. So the reason why I refused to buy this book was because it was like a big book. It was like a 200 page book, but we only needed four pages out of this pull apart textbook. And so in my mind, why would I spend that money? And a lot of other students didn't, you know, but the professor told us, I shouldn't even be calling her a professor because I really didn't consider her a professor. I barely considered her a teacher was I, I went through the trouble of, I even rewrote the entire worksheet on a separate piece of paper and turned that in. So I did the worksheet, the work, the four worksheet technically twice and she refused to take it. And I ended up having to drop that class. And she told me to my face, if I had bought the book, and it on the official paper that I would have passed the class with an A. So that was my first big red flag with this school because I tried going to a counselor and, and the dean and talking about it because I didn't see it as fair since I had done the work and it was for four pages out of this rip apart book. Okay, like, but the professor's like, if that's, if that's what your professor said, then that's how it's gotta be and you have no say and it's not like, the, and in, in the real world, if your boss tells you to buy something, you're not gonna complain about it. And I'm like, yeah, and I, you know, brought up to my, I brought up to the dean. I don't think they like that. I was like, but my, I'm assuming my boss wouldn't want us to waste money and paper and time if we had already done it. So, needless to say, I was kind of a little, I, I, I mean, thinking back right now, I was kind of a sassy bitch, but I was really pissed off because this was my first experience with it, and my psychology class was great. So, I even talked to my professor about that professor about it, and he told me, he's like, yeah, some people who work here should not be working here. They shouldn't be professors, and they shouldn't be teaching people. So that was another big red flag, is when, you know, your own staff is telling you that you shouldn't, they shouldn't work here. So, anyway, I dropped one class, and because of my money problems and the fact that uh, how my living situation was, I could not get financial aid because my parents made a decent amount of money, but they never seemed to take into account that my parents, uh, my parents are commission-based people, so, like, the money they made over the year, they still have to take like 30 to 40 percent out of taxes plus bills and paying for everything else and, you know, surviving. So we didn't really have money. But to all the financial stuff and loans, my, my family had money, so I couldn't get financial aid, so I had to pay out of pocket. So that was another thing. So I only went part time while I was doing work and, you know, no big deal. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. But then I took this one class and I was very happy with this class because it really inspired me to want to do my art. And this professor really inspired me and told me I could do it and that I should follow my dream. So after that, I talked to my counselor about changing my, my, my um, major. Another red flag, the counselor looked at me when I said I wanted to be an art slash illustration major because I didn't know the technical term for the time. She looked me square in the face and said, you should not go here then because our art department is terrible. Yeah. So when I was told that from a counselor, that also didn't make me feel too good. But I was like, you know what? Can't, it can't be all true. I've heard stories of how good the art classes are at, at, at Lacey, but they're impossible to get in. And they only have like one or so of each, of each art class. And by that I mean like they have like a drawing one, a sculpting one, a life drawing. Like, 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 it's very limited. One of my dear friends got into their art program and she's had a great time and I'm very proud of her that she did. I had a terrible experience with my art, with my art program with that school, which was honestly one of the big, um, that was one of the big decisions in why I decided to leave. So what happened was I had gotten a graphic design class. I was very proud. It was an intro to graphic design. The professor I looked up had great reviews on Rate My Professor. For people who, you know, go into college, look for Rate My Professor because trust me, sometimes you're going to want to know before you take the class. So everything was great. I was in class with a lot of supportive people and a lot, it was an intro to graphic design because First of all, it was all on Macs. I had never worked on a Mac before. I barely knew Photoshop. I barely knew Illustrator. I, I really didn't know that much besides 
very few basics in Photoshop and mostly, you know, paint tool side. I didn't know anything else and I really wanted to expand my, my horizon. So we get this, we get this teacher. I'm purposefully not calling this man a teacher because he is not a teacher and he should not be. Because, first of all, he was still getting his degree, which made no sense to me why he was being a professor at a JC, but he was still getting his degree in graphic design. And another red flag, uh, when it came down to it, because I hated using the Macs, I hated using them. I really did. I hated using the mouse, I hated using the computers, but they had Wacom tablets. And I had a tablet at home, so I knew how to use it. And I asked if I could use the tablet in the classroom, because there were tons of them, and no one else knew how to use it. So I was using the tablet one day, and it was like the first day, and the teacher came up and was watching me, and watching me, and watching me, and it freaked me out. And I asked him, like, is everything okay? And he turned to me and was like, where's the batteries? And I'm like, the, the, the batteries? And he's like, yeah, where's the batteries in the pen? And I'm like, there are no batteries in the pen. You plug it into the computer. And I showed him that you plug it into the computer, and it works like a mouse. For some reason, the teacher did not believe me, and insisted that there were batteries in it somewhere, that I was wrong, and he broke the tablet pen, and then gave me, me, the student, a bill for a $300 tablet, and said, since I broke it, I had to pay for it, and I wasn't about to do that, and I had to get witnesses, and I had, because my whole classroom was there. And they saw this, and they were in shock when he broke the tablet, and I had to go to the dean of the art department for Lacey, and with my class, mind you, and tell them, because my professor was, uh, the man, the teacher, was getting very mad at me for not wanting to pay for the broken tablet that he broke. And they told the dean, they're like, no, she told him constantly that he is going to, you know, sh that there's no batteries in it, and he broke it, and he told her he had to pay for it. And the dean was pissed. And I would be too because, you know, I had an entire class. There was well over 30 people there of all ages because it's, it's, it's a JC, so there's ages, where they were like, no, she, she shouldn't have to pay for this because he broke it. And after that, the professor did not like me and many of the other class because I refused to pay for the thing that he broke. Yeah. Um, but a re another reason why it was really bad was for the matter of the... F <laughs> For the matter that um, whenever it came to critiques, he would give people, and granted, this was an intro to graphic design, so I already had a much higher skill level than a lot of other people. I'm not tooting my own horn here, because when it came to graphic design, I really didn't know that much, but I knew art, so I was able to, like, draw stuff when it came down to drawing, but when it came to vectoring and everything else, I, I was as newbie as everybody else. And so he would give people suggestions, okay? Like, okay, don't do this, do this. And then when it came time to finish project, he would make fun of them. And I mean, make fun of them to the point where he would laugh at the students for listening to him. And he would deny that he gave them the, the, uh, the advice. Needless to say, lots of, uh, not lots of my class. I had lots of complaints against him with the dean. Lots of them, because especially the fact that none of us signed up for this class. We didn't sign up for this teacher. We signed up for the proper professor that decided, decided to quit. So, that was a big slap in the face to me, and a big eye-opening thing, and I do admit, I learned, all in all, I learned about two things from that class, and that was proper printing size, and, um, that's about it, nothing else stuck, because he was just such a bad teacher, and I've just been looking up stuff on YouTube and online, and it's been helping me a lot better, so that was my only instance with an art class at this school, and why you might say the only instance is because shortly after this happened, um, Oh, I, I barely, I, I don't think I even passed. I think I got a D because he didn't want to pass. And no one else passed that class either. Like, that's another thing we brought up to the, the art, the art dean was, uh, no one, no one passed. And that should be weird, but no, nope, that guy is still working there, I found out. Still working there, and his, uh, his rate, my professor's terrible. Again, I'm not, I'm not going to name names because I don't want, you know, don't want this shit to come back at me, but, hmm. So that made me really disappointed and really upset, but I still wanted to do my art and I wasn't, I wasn't broken up. You know, I could do my art, but um, the school was starting to do a lot of like really shady things, and they changed a lot of rules. And so what happened was because I did technically did not pass my art class, and I dropped one class, and I was a part-time student. Now keep in mind, they did not inform me this um, at the time. If you are a part-time student, they grade you on a curve of as if you were a full-time student so if you're only taking two classes and you do not pass one or you drop one 
uh, then your entire grade point average for that semester gets shut in half, get, gets cut in half. I didn't know that. No one told me that. Maybe that's a well-known college thing. No one informed me of this. No one informed my parents of this. A lot of my other friends who went to Lacey did not know this. So, it turns out I was on academic probation because I had that one class that, you know, I had to drop because I refused to pay for the $80 book that we only used for four pages. And for my art class. And, yeah, that was really disappointing. And so I had to go into this, I'm calling it a throwaway class, but I had to pay for it. Because how the school worked was, uh, they hold your registration date for hostage at Lacey if you go on academic probation and the way to get out of it originally originally to get out of that was you had to take away this throwaway class I say it's a throwaway class because it was like 300 something dollars plus the book and you get no credits you get uh, it doesn't help you at all with like your grades it doesn't fix your GPA it just gives you back your date and it was a guidance class and I'm, I'm honestly I'm not even bashing my that guidance teacher because that was a really boring class and he tried really hard to make it an interesting class so I've got nothing wrong with that professor he was a great professor he was very funny and he was very supportive of uh, arts and crafts and like supporting people and that's my phone and like having people do what they want to do and he told us how you know he didn't know what he wanted to do for the longest time and he didn't get his teaching degree until he was 60 and we were like you know what that's awesome go you like he was it was it was actually for the actual lessons were boring as shit but the professor was really cool so i was told and i signed a contract so i have a couple other people that if you passed the class which because it was a really dumb class and really easy it was easy to pass you would get your you would get your registration date back for the next semester okay so I was all excited I had like my classes picked out I had a job lined up I, things were doing things were going great for me then the school decided to change change the 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 um, I, don't know, I guess the process last minute I don't know what to call it but I was informed that I had to write a very long essay explaining why I why I deserve to go to college and then I have to submit that essay to the to a board some kind of some some board meeting and then I have to go to another meeting and I had to pretty much talk to this board and explain why I deserve my date back and I talked to the people who were in that department which speaking of to prove how bad this school is uh, when they had someone come in to talk to this girl was la this this lady I'm not blaming the lady but um, I asked her because she was very confused and she was like oh it's my first day I never wanted to work here and I was like oh why are you working here she's like well my sister works here and so I needed a job and I was like okay so it's one of these places you know what I mean where it's it's really hard to get a job here but it's a job and if you know somebody you can get a job there like this lady did not know what she was doing she was nice but she did not know what she was doing and she obviously did not want to be in academics at all but um, I, I brought up you know I'm like I signed this contract here's my contract I even talked to uh, Cody's Cody's uh, dad because his dad's a teacher and he was gonna take it up with the board and everything and they're like nope the policy changed policy changed here at Lacey so you have to do this this and this and then you can get your date back and I was like wait a minute so even if I do all of this because I brought this up to a couple of people because I asked a couple of the staff, I'm like, even if I do all of this, I still will not be able to get a date for the next semester. They're like, no, you'd have to get it for the following semester. So I'm like, so I'd already have one semester of not doing anything. And I had already wasted my money on this throwaway class. And I had gone through the, sc the, the school's bureaucracy bullshit that I have known, I have, I have heard, again, that this did not happen at many other schools. And, yeah. <laughs> So I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm done. I'm not going to go here anymore. I'm not going to do it. And a lot of my friends were like, no, good for you. Like, I had a lot of friends who dropped out of Lacey, and they, they just went to a different JCs, and now they're done, and they have their degrees. And so if you live in the Southern California area, I'm pretty sure you're going to guess what I'm talking about <laughs> without having to say it. But yeah, it was, it was it, just everything about it was very unprofessional, but it's a prestigious school, so it made no sense for a junior college and again i have i have some friends who are having a good time and you know but they're having a good time because they don't they don't work so they can have a full they can have a full ride i mean a full scholarship i mean not a school scholarship they can have a, take a bunch of classes and not have to worry about like i i even have a close friend of mine who had to quit her job 
just to be able to keep up with the schooling of the stupid schedules at Lacey. Because um, another thing, too, I heard is a lot of the mandatory classes you need to transfer, which you know is the main reason people go to a JC, they only offer, like, once a semester for, like, a specific time on a specific day. And so, yeah, I know I rambled on for 20 minutes here, and I'm sorry if you got bored listening to my experience, but this is this is something I wanted to make for a while because it, it really is a horror story and it's a learning lesson, and I'm not even bashing schools, I'm bashing, bashing this specific school because I actually do want to take formal art education when, when the time is right, and this just wasn't for me. The JCs were not for me, and I wanted to get it out there, so... Um, if you if you have if you have uh, worries about going to a junior college, if you have you know your doubts, then you probably shouldn't go. In my opinion, I'm one of the people who believes that you know unless you you want an education and don't feel like you need an education. And by the difference in this, I mean wanting an education is you want an education to better yourself, so you want to be there. Feeling like you need it is like I need this to get a good job, but I don't like school then you're not going to do well. Unless you have amazing, amazing, you know, uh, uh, self-motivating skills. Because everybody I know who just wants to, who feels they need to go to school, never does, never does well. I really wanted to go to school, and I tried my best, and the school, the school screwed me over. And it screwed over a lot of other people. And like I said, I'm looking at other horizons now, and I've had a lot of other backups and a lot of other places. And I'm not torn up about it. I've been a lot happier about it. I don't have to freak out about it. So, yeah, um, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed my random, my random story time about why I dropped out of a JC called Lacey. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.